All right, YouTube, today I'm bringing you another VOD session. This time we're gonna be talking about the final two hills and the NYSL comeback versus LAG on Karachi Hardpoint. This is a really interesting comeback because LAG was so close to winning and then there was some accusations of Sky's snaking. So I wanna talk about all of that in terms of, you know, what LAG could have done to win and was that snaking really going to be the deferential in whether they won or lost this game. So I'll put the VOD and let's get right into it. All right, so we see the score right now, 183 for New York, 209 for LAG. They're going to be coming off of this P4 scrap time and they need to break on into this New York setup going into this P5. So as you can see in New York setup, they have one guy towards the diner side, one guy on the outskirts towards this useless side. So they're covering both outside lanes of the hill. And then you have number four who's going to get time right as it hill pops and number two who's playing towards uh, this top fire or top red side. And he's going to be trying to get some information on how LAG is going to be breaking off of this old time. So we'll fast forward here and just see how it goes in terms of LAG's break. Sib actually sees sees Assault here, top plat, and he's gonna try and get some shots down. Unfortunately though, he does not secure the kill, so Assault kind of baits himself out for Fame here. Fame can clean up this kill for Sib. Some pretty good teamwork. Unfortunately for New York, they don't get that initial kill on Assault. So now LG knows that they have numbers going into this break, 4v3. What they're gonna try and do here is just bully out towards this red side, you know, whether it's coming for top single, jumping down, or just going through these front windows or the back door. They're trying to get just map positioning within this red area and take control of that so that they can have an easy break onto the New York setup. And by taking this type of map control, they're not letting, you know, number one and number three see them because they're trying to look for people that are trying to pinch, you know, either around through long and taking that route or taking a longer route towards this mid cut around useless that way. So that's what number one and number three are going to be picking up. But unfortunately for New York, this number two kill is probably the most important death for them because, you know, that top red area is just so important for the crux of the hold. So number eight here, Diamond Con, he's going to take a longer route to try and kill whoever was playing towards this diner side. In this case, it's Paco with the sub and he gets some shots off. But unfortunately, once again, New York is not able to get this kill while getting one of their players weak. So, you know, they weren't able to kill Assault Top Plat. They're now not able to kill Diamond Con. He's going to be playing his life really well, getting some help from Estrial Top Single here. And Hydra on this side of the map is not even going to be able to get a kill. So that means, you know, not only is their red compromised, their whole P2 side of this P5 is completely compromised. And this can be a really easy break for LG to break on in because this person on hill has absolutely no chance with you know three people trying to break on in through that front side so they're able to get this break on in kismet who is over towards you know this use side playing that he has to bump over towards the hill to try and get some reinforcements towards there unfortunately for him though he does get one kill but he's just going to get traded out right away so really really good LG break right there you know they got the initial map control with what they wanted to in terms of trying to get kills through red side they got that kill on sib and and then they were able to get another kill towards this diner side with the Paco kill. And then they're able to just completely converge on the hill. Only one guy on time. And then the other guy was towards useless. It's just a free break for them. And look at this situation now. 216, 46 seconds left. We got time on hill. And all of these guys are spawning super deep. They're spawning Coop over here. They're spawning Statue. This should be a really easy hold for LAG. And they can even win off of this time. So, you know, we're going to be talking about the P5 later on. But technically, they could have won on this P4. And we'll talk about that right now so in terms of you know holding this hill we just want to make sure that we know where the opponents are coming from especially with the game winding down and we can win off this hill we want to make sure that we know where the pressure is coming from so we can adjust to that otherwise they're just going to appear on our screens towards the hill and they could have a chance of possibly breaking on it so obviously you can play super tight and that's what leg is going to do over here and i'm going to talk about why that might not be the most optimal way in this situation but i understand the concept of what they were trying to do so off of this break number five assault he's going to go towards you know top plat once again try and see if he can get any sort of info towards this mid map area you know once again 40 seconds left we win in 28 seconds so what we need to do here is get some kills get some trades so that they don't contest on the hill we do have a little contestion time to spare before we can't win off of this hill anymore so what's happening here for new york is they're going to be trying to take some routes so that they're covering some space making sure that they can get towards this hill uh, and not just you know head bashing through one way so that they're just completely funneled by the enemy team they're taking some routes unfortunately for Paco, he dies here to assault and this is a great play out of assault that's what i was talking about with you know trying to get some info on where they're coming from he gets this initial kill and again look at this hold over here we have paco staggered you know it's only 24 seconds until we win the game 35 seconds left on the entire hill we just need to make sure that we're just trading with each other so that they can't get on time and that's the problem that happens here for lag even though they're able to get this first blood on the break attempt with the you know the number one superstar player that you want to be making sure that you stack 
dagger and not have on their final break attempt. You know, now New York does not have the numbers for this break attempt, so they have to make some magic happen here. And what's happening here is, you know, number five just killed Pac over here, but he can't see his low short here, so Kismet is going to take this route. And unfortunately for LAG on this hill, you know, they're just playing super, super tight. You know, Diamond Con is behind this bus stop. What he's doing here is trying to make sure that he's covering anyone that's coming from, you know, the top jump down over here from single. And so he's watching that cross. You know, number seven on this is watching the back door and number six is watching the front door here. So, you know, they have things covered, but they don't really have information on where New York is coming from on this. So, you know, even though Assault is top plat over here, there are so many different ways that they can come. You know, they can come from long, they can come from back alley, they can come from short right now. And no one on this LAG roster is going to be able to see these players enter the hill until they're, you know, right around the hill. So in my opinion, what they needed to do was probably, you know, branch out just a little bit, make sure that you get some info. Even if you die, you're going to spawn up and get that info for your team, but also they can trade that out. You know, all you have to do is get them just a little bit weak for your teammates to trade it out. So you already got that first blood on Paco, so you have numbers in this situation. You literally just need to trade out in this situation. But what happens here, number three Kismet is going to get a free route down short over here. He gets hit with a nade. Number two is going to see Assault top plat. So they trade out that kill that was on Paco, but unfortunately for LAG's sake, you know, they don't have anyone watching this bus side anymore. So anyone that might be taking routes to this, like Kismet right now, he goes through this smoke over here. He's even standing right in front of this window and Diamond Con over here is not going to be able to see him and neither is seven or six. So already New York has three guys breaking on through this diner side and LAG has no information on them yet until they start breaking onto the hill. So what happens here is Kismet's able to get one kill on fame in the hill. Unfortunately for Skies, Diamond Con is picking this up. So Skies doesn't check this close angle up towards the bus stop. Diamond Con's able to get a free kill. Kismet gets this kill, as I said before, and then he's going to reach out, get Estriel weak. But what happens here, you know, even though Estriel gets this kill, number one, Hydra is back in the play. So he died in that initial break attempt. He's back in the play. He gets that trade onto Diamond Con right here, and now he can go and pressure towards the hill. So what happened to be, you know, LAG with numbers and with some control over the hill, you know, they just get instantly team worked on as they weren't able to get enough information on where New York was coming from. It felt like they were just sitting ducks on the hill. I understand from their perspective, it's like, you know, we just went off the hill. Make sure you just play tight. We'll trade out the kills. But, you know, they didn't know all of those players were going to challenge at the same time coming from basically the same way. And then Paco, who was, you know, the first blood off of it, was still able to get back to his team in time so that there was no numbers advantage. And, you know, he's soaking some time right now. So what initially was a hold that could have ended on this P5 with LAG scoring all those points uh, becomes a situation where it's kind of sketchy where, you know, they might not win off this hill if this time stays white. Actually, Assault wins a big one-on-one -on, -one on Hydra here after Hydra had killed Estriel, and it's technically possible for them still to win here. So it's actually going to come down to, you know, two players hitting this old time. It's going to be Siv hitting this back door, and it's going to be Kismet hitting the front window, making sure that they trade out this guy and that LAG does not win off of this P5. Uh, Assault gets this first kill on Sib. They think that they win the game. Unfortunately, though, Kismet had also hit old. So really good play out of Kismet, making sure that he had Sibs back up there. And now LAG is still stuck at 248 points. New York has this initial rotation to the P1. I'll show you what happened towards the other side of the map because obviously there's, there's still big kills that happened towards this other side. They get this old P5 spawn towards this statue over here. So Paco is spawning into a really good position to help out number four towards this left side of the map. Skies is able to get Diamond Con and then they're able to teamwork number six over here. So they get both kills towards this left side of the map. There's one other player that's Estrel that's going to be trying to hit this left street. Hydra gets that kill too. And now it's complete control for New York. Hydra has all of this left side for the team. Uh, they're soaking time. They have the red side and short push. And you know, they're at 194. That means a full hold wins the game for them. So they're just making sure that they can just try and limit LAG's presence on the map so that they can't touch the time and really try and win this game towards this P1. So how does LAG spawn up into this break? They get some really weird split spawns where number eight and number six are working towards this castle side and number seven and number five over here are spawning towards this lot side. So they kind of have a weird initial push because they're on a different side of the map than each other. So they're just gonna try and get some type of opening because in New York's case, this is not a situation where you really wanna be in where you have you know enemy players coming from both sides of you and you don't 
don't really know where they're going to be or how many can be on each side. It's really hard to track that in the moment. So, you know, they're just trying to make sure that they play for one and make sure that they stay alive. And that's the biggest thing that you want to have in this situation. You want to make it the most controlled as possible so that then you can have everyone on the enemy team spawning in the same place and then play that way. So Diamond Con off his spawn, he's going to go top castle here. And I believe he actually sees Paco right here. So he definitely does see him. And in this case, you know, you do have both your attacks. He has his stun. He has his nade. I personally would love for him to use that on Paco right here. Maybe he's thinking in his mind that Paco also saw him. So he doesn't want to get a weird timing where he's caught throwing a nade and doesn't get the kill on Hydra because this is a big kill on this side of the map. So what happens here is he's going to try and hop onto this ledge and get an angle on him. And unfortunately, you know, he does not win this gunfight on Paco, even though he knows he's there. Uh, I would have really liked for him to use those tacks, you know, try and bait him out of that position to, you know, win an easy gunfight where he's not having to, you know, jump onto the balcony and completely expose himself. This way, you at least have the advantage in the gunfight and make him a little bit weak. I do understand the feeling of possibly giving yourself some really weird timing uh, where you're caught throwing one of those. But in this situation, you're, he's kind of stuck in this corner and unfortunately he does lose this gunfight. And on the other side, Fame wins a gunfight towards the short side on Kismet. So that's a big kill too. And in my opinion, you know, maybe this is nitpicky, but you get this kill on number three who was watching the plat. You also know that Paco was towards his left street and you know the last guy is on time. I don't know what his health situation is like here. Maybe he's weak from this previous gunfight with Kismet. So maybe that's why he's not trying to go towards Hill uh, because technically Paco could have gone towards his mid cut and then he would be outnumbered. Uh, but I would like for him to at least wait a little bit and then possibly work with Estrel here uh, trying to get some type of pressure towards this hill because what he does here is he goes towards this fountain hill. Unfortunately, he doesn't take the right gamble because that's where Paco ended up going after the diamond con kill. So Paco doesn't go to help out the hill. He actually goes towards this fountain area and he gets this free kill on fame. So fame's kill on Kismet is completely traded and this is still a good situation for New York. And now we get this really controversial situation where Skies is snaking this concrete wall in the middle of P1. And it's a really awkward situation, obviously, for LAG because they're trying to see if they can kill him. Unfortunately, though, you know, even if Skies was just prone and laying, I think the same outcome happens anyways because Estrel is still prone on this side of the hill. So it's not like he's a full on challenging Skies or jumping over trying to kill him. And Paco, who's short, is in a gunfight with Assault, who's had pulled out his pistol because he couldn't kill Skies. So, you know, even if Skies wasn't snaking, but he, you know, popped up and laid prone, you know, Assault still probably switches to the pistol over here and he still doesn't get this kill on Paco. So, you know, technically, yeah, it is snaking and there probably should be some type of repercussions for it because he still did it in, you know, a really clutch situation where they had to hold this hill. But, you know, was it the reason why LAG lost? No, there were a lot of other different, you know, plays that could have gone their way and it wasn't really all the way down towards the snaking, but he was doing it. So, you know, I do see the case for it. Unfortunately though, LAG just needs to, you know, hit this guy on the hill. In my opinion, you know, again, maybe nitpick but if I'm Estrel here, I'm jumping on this time trying to get this kill on Skies. You know, he jumps on time to try and contest it. I completely get it because he has someone top third watching over him. But, you know, Assault did get some shots onto him. So I would like for him to, you know, go and challenge this guy. You know he's weak and there's a possibility that you can then get the two piece on Hydra who would be weak from Assault's pistol and you can now maintain control of that hill and then you instantly win the game because these are the last two guys alive. So in my opinion, I would like to see some more aggression in that sense. But, you know, at this moment, he's prone assault dies over him and now he's just a sitting duck on time they know that he's on this other side of the hill and they can just kill him for free and now they just have complete control this is a situation you do not want to be in for leg with new york all working onto this hold they're even stacking on time they got two trophies on it making sure that they don't get naded out or tacked out from these positions and you know fame is going to go up here towards this top second area and he's just going to get really unlucky you know diamond con even wins a big one-on-one -on -one gunfight towards this other side of the map with kids mid and he's going to try and put some pressure towards Sib who's watching towards his red side and that's going to open things up for number five because number two can't watch number four's cross anymore towards his hill here I'll draw it out for you number two can't watch this anymore so number five has some space while number eight and number two are in this gunfight so Dimecon makes a really good play getting that kill and challenging this next guy but unfortunately though for fame he just does not see uh, this New York player in this corner here I'm not sure how he doesn't see Paco you know maybe this is a codcaster 
Douglas with the FOV and he can't see it. I don't know, but you know, everyone that I was watching with was screaming at their screens, uh, not understanding how he didn't see Paco in this corner. Paco gets that free kill on him, and now New York still has numbers towards this hill, and it's just a staggered break for LAG at this point. Uh, Assault tries to kill Paco here. He does get the kill, but he just gets straight out right away. And now New York is just completely holding the rest of this scrap time. They have the rotation towards this new time. There is zero chance that LAG can win this game if Skies gets one kill here. He does get the kill on Diamond Con because it's a full rotation towards this next B2, and no one here can get to the hill in time uh, to try and challenge Skies for these last two seconds. New York is gonna win this map, and you know, a really good hold on P1 for them, but just really unfortunate for LAG. You know, there were a lot of different situations that could have gone right for them, and all they needed was two more points. And I was kind of surprised, you know, I wasn't expecting LAG to take this map from New York, and they probably should have. So unfortunately, they weren't able to clutch up in that final P1, and New York basically guaranteed a full hold there to win the map. So thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this VOD session of LAG versus New York, and I'll see you guys in the next one.